Good afternoon. Will everyone please rise for our national anthem? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets were the bombs burst in the air we flew through the night like a helpless in air oh say the best stars in the land of Israel o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Please be seated. Welcome to California State University's 54th annual commencement and the 21st commencement of the College of Engineering and Computer Science. I'm S.K. Ramesh, the Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science. I would first like to introduce the members of the Platform Party here with us today. I ask the members of the Platform Party to please stand when I call your name to be recognized and then be seated. An audience, if you please hold your applause until all members of the party are introduced. Starting with the front row on your right, we have Dr. Harry Helen Brand, Interim President, Dr. Cynthia Rawich, Vice Provost, Dr. William Watkins, Vice President for Student Affairs, Dean of Students and Acting Administrator for Academic Affairs, Ms. Bernadette Shane, Member of the Board of Trustees of the California State University. On your left in the first row, Mr. Nicholas Stiminskis, our keynote speaker today. Ms. Savannah Avanasian, our student speaker, who's graduating with her bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering today. Dr. Nagwa Bakir, associate dean. In the second row, on your right, we have Dr. Mark Stover, dean of the university library. Dr. Ali Amini, chair of the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Dr. Nasra Dermenjin, Chair of the Civil Engineering and Applied Mechanics Department. <laughs> Professor Ben Mallard from the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. I see he needs no introduction and one of our name readers today. Professor Steven Stepanek, Chair of the Computer Science Department and Faculty President, California State University, Northridge. Dr. Eliana Costilla, Chair of the Department of Manufacturing Systems Engineering and Management. Dr. Bob Ryan from the Mechanical Engineering Department and one of our name readers today. Mr. Kunal Chitre, Class of 2005, Electrical Engineering Master's Graduate and Class of 2009, Engineering Management MS Graduate, representing the Alumni Association today. In the last row, on your right, we have Dr. George Yosef from the Mechanical Engineering Department, who is our mace bearer today. Ms. Hilary Baker, Vice President for Information Technology and Chief Information Officer. Mr. Tom McCarran, Vice President for Administration and Finance and Chief Financial Officer. And finally, in the last row on your left, we have Dr. Hamid Johari, Chair, Department of Mechanical Engineering. Dr. Barbara Gross, Chief of Staff, Office of the President. And Dr. Vance Peterson, Vice President for University Advancement. Please give our platform party a big hand. Thank you. I would now like to recognize the faculty and staff in the college who contribute so much to the education of our students. Will the faculty and staff please rise? 
please join me in an expression of appreciation for these wonderful faculty and staff. Thank you. You may now be seated. It is now my great pleasure to invite Dr. Harry Helen Brand, Interim President of California State University, Northridge, to make his initial remarks. President Helen Brand. Honored graduates, faculty, friends, consider these numbers. In the large cities in America today, for every 10 students who begin high school, seven graduate. Of those seven who graduate, four go on to technical school, college, or community college. Of those four, one gets a BA or a BS. And of that one, 0.33 goes on to get an advanced degree. So you who are with us today have truly beaten the odds and deserve our congratulations. Now today, we are remarkably good at splicing DNA and tracing our genetic origins, but we have forgotten our cultural inter-indebtedness. So I want to talk just briefly about that. There's no one of us here today who would be here were it not for an ancestor who made the voyage to this new world or this golden state. Few of us would be here today if a parent, an aunt, an uncle, a sister, a brother did not work an extra shift, pick an extra bushel, take an extra job. Few of us would be here today if a stranger did not reach out a hand and say, here, follow me. If a friend did not reach out a hand and say, please, do not be like me. If a teacher did not say, here, this is how this works. If a coach did not say, I know you can do it. Looked up close from within our own minds and hearts, we all seem to be on a continent in individual isolation. But when we step back a little ways and look at ourselves, we see that each one of us is an archipelago of islet influences made up of the influences of all the people who have contributed to our lives. So you stand here today as an individual graduate, but you're a representative of we the people. And today we celebrate your achievement and the achievement of all the people who have worked with you along the way. We wish you the best. We wish that we, you help pull other people along in your career. Congratulations to you today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Harry, for your remarks. It's now my pleasure to invite our Associate Dean, Dr. Nagwa Bakir, to recognize our outstanding students. Dr. Bakir. We want to recognize three groups of honors students. The first group consists of graduating members of Tau Beta Pi, the Engineering Honor Society, and Eta Kaba Nu the Electrical Engineering Honor Society. The second group are those graduating students who have participated in the College Honors Co-op Program. The third group is all the students who received a Scholastic Honors Award or an award for personal achievement at Honors Convocation. Will all graduating students from Tau Beta Bi, Eta Kappa Nu, and Honors Co-op and those who received awards at the Honor Convocation, please rise and be recognized. Please be seated. Each year, the faculty select outstanding undergraduate and graduate students to honor from each program. I would now like to present these outstanding graduates. Please rise as I call your names and remain standing. The Outstanding Baccalaureate Degree Award recipients are Kavayan Rifai and Zori Gregorian in the Civil Engineering and Applied Mechanics Department. David Brotz in the Computer Science Department. John Baldwin and Jose Reyes in Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. Jonathan Hubbard in the Manufacturing System Engineering and Management Department. And 
to Cereve in the mechanical engineering department. The outstanding master degree award recipients are R.B. Karabichian from the Civil Engineering Applied Mechanics Department, Margareta Vamos and Nicholas Durrani from Computer Science Department, <laughs> Mohammed Zuhir Saeed from the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department, <laughs> Amir Masoud Latifian, Mazyar Aram, and Mark Miklich from the Manufacturing System Engineering and Management Department. <laughs> Ali Islampolshi from the Mechanical Engineering Department. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating these exceptional graduates. <laughs> Please be seated. I will now call on Dear Ramesh to make a special introduction. Last year, we started a tradition in the College of Engineering and Computer Science to recognize the top graduating senior from the college with special recognition and a plaque as the Distinguished College of Engineering and Computer Science graduating scholar. Ms. Swapna Pawar from the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department received one of the four 2012 CSUN Outstanding Graduating Senior Awards at Honors Convocation on Monday and was also the college's nominee for the university's top graduating senior award, the Wilson Scholar Award. She's graduating with her bachelor's degree in electrical engineering with an overall grade point average of 3.92. It is now my pleasure to invite Ms. Swapna Pawar to come up to the stage to receive her plaque. Ms. Pawar. In, in recognition of your distinguished achievement as the Distinguished Scholar in the College of Engineering and Computer Science 2011-2012, Ms. Swapna Pawar from Electrical and Computer Engineering. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, congratulations to everybody who's graduating today. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little speechless right now. My parents are not here. They're in India. But they're watching me. and. I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported me, my friends, my family, and everybody who's come here today. Uh, Mom and Dad, this is for you. I love you. Thank you. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you, Swapna. Congratulations. Dr. Bakir. Now I'm pleased to introduce our student speaker, Ms. Sivana Avenisian. Sivana is graduating today with a major in mechanical engineering and minor in writing and rhetoric. She is currently the president of CSUN Society of Women Engineering section. Please join me in welcoming our student speaker, Ms. Sivana Avenisian. understand how hard my heart is beating right now. <clears throat> so we're all engineers. Let's talk numbers for a moment. Over 30% of America's population holds a bachelor's degree, but less than 10% obtain a degree in science and engineering. My fellow graduates, we're about to join this small but distinguished and dignified community. Honorable faculty, family, and friends, on behalf of this year's graduating class of 2012, I would like to welcome you to join in our celebration of this great achievement we reached after years of hard work 
and dedication. All of us graduates should be very, very proud of our accomplishment because by now we know what it takes to complete this study. It takes a lot of commitment and the passion of wanting to know more. It's endless hours of exhaustion and work and coffee and Monster and Red Bull to get through the many, many late nights of studying. So if you didn't know what you were getting yourself into, you certainly know now. So congratulations to all of us because we really put forth the effort. Never in my life did I ever think I'd be a member of the graduating class in engineering and computer science. And I know I'm not the only one. We come from so many different backgrounds, some directly from a line of engineers. Others struggled to find themselves and get to where we are now. Some, like me, grew up playing with dolls and didn't take them apart. Others had... <laughs> Others had Legos and started disassembling toys, computers, and anything they could get their hands on from an early age. Regardless, our pasts and personalities have made us who we are. Many of us don't talk about this, but hidden among us geeks, analysts, and machinists are talents of music, art, and craftsmanship. We tend to hide our potentials from each other, but these disciplines are part of the qualities that have brought us to this day. Science and music, mathematics and art, two completely opposite ends of the spectrum. And I want to tell you something that took me years to realize. Never lose your personality to a textbook. Personally, I had all the characteristics of studying a humanitarian-based subject, and quite frankly, I was expected to by many people. My decision to study mechanical engineering came as a complete surprise to everyone. And aside from family support, I wasn't really expected to succeed. But I pressed on. You press on. You discover an endurance level you never thought you had and develop a strong character. These are things that all of us wearing a cap and gown have developed for years. They are what carry us into our profession. We've set the foundation that will support our professional growth and created the dynamics that will move us forward. This day is a significant milestone in our lives and all we need now is to keep the momentum going. And it all happened on this campus. The engineering building has become like our home. It's, we've spent almost every waking hour here studying, working on labs and projects, learning from knowledgeable faculty, and making lifelong friends and colleagues. Something about that brick building changed me, and I'm sure it affected many of my fellow graduates, too. We talk a lot about today and how we've completed this educational milestone, but not many look back to how it all began. The beginning was different for all of us, and yet it is so important because that was the day we made the decision to study this course. On my first day on campus, I was an undecided major, having no clue what I wanted for my future. By chance, a faculty member invited me to tour the building, and the moment I stepped into those engineering labs, I was instantly hit with a nose full of the industrial smell of hot metal ball bearings and well-oiled machines, and out of nowhere, everything made sense. This was my calling, my unidentified passion, and I suddenly knew what I wanted to study. And this is just me. I'm sure each of us have had our moments of clarity, whether we took apart a computer for the first time, or heard an engine roar, or stood in front of an architectural marvel that took your breath away. However it began, this choice we made to be a part of a distinguished profession was the best decision of our lives. But this was different. This was going to require work, a lot of work, perhaps a change in attitude. We were determined and pressed through all those times when we didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel and endured everything. So when we finally reached the end, we are different people, stronger and dedicated. And now we have it. We've reached our goal after all the work we've put in. Our dedication and endurance have brought us to this day. 
We're joining a professional future where we carry so much responsibility and integrity. We've developed our characters and identified our personalities. None of us would be here without putting forth the time, effort, and dedication our studies required. Now we know what it takes, and we will carry this pride we have for our accomplishment for the rest of our lives. Congratulations to my fellow graduates. We are now part of the next generation of engineers. Thank you, Savannah. I will now call on Dean Ramesh to introduce our next speaker. Thank you, Nagma. It's now my pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker for today, Mr. Nicholas Tominskis. Nicholas graduated from CSUN with a bachelor's degree in computer science, summa cum laude, and a GPA of 3.9 in 2009. Nicholas was honorably discharged from the United States Air Force in January of 2005 with the rank of Staff Sergeant and received the Air Force Commendation Medal for meritorious service. He started his career at Amgen through our college's Signature Honors Co-op Program, and he's currently the Global Commercial Operations Information Systems Portfolio Manager, that's a mouthful, and a project manager for various global initiatives, uh, including BreakawayCancer.com, and Global Contracts and Pricing System. Nicholas's success as a project manager has led to his selection as a leading member in the company's project management office. And more recently, he was chosen to be the project manager for a new inside sales business unit that is being developed from the ground up, which will completely change Amgen's sales landscape. In addition to his activities at work, Nicholas is very active in his church and community, He's a black belt in Shaolin Kung Fu and owns his own home remodeling and carpentry business. Nicholas is accompanied today by his lovely wife, Alina Timinskis, their daughter, Sophia, and several members of his family and friends. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. Nicholas Timinskis. Well, thank you, Dean Ramesh. Thank you, Interim President Helen Brand. Thank you to all the members of the Platform Party. And thank you, Class of 2012. Let me just start by saying with all sincerity, congratulations. Just give yourself a hand of applause. Now, many of you may recognize me from my time here on campus through my company's recruiting efforts. I've attended several student groups, tech fests, and job fairs and I've had the privilege to get to speak to many of you individually. CSUN is just one of the target schools that my company targets. We also recruit at USC, UCLA, UC Santa Barbara, and Cal Poly. And I can say this confidently, that the graduates of CSUN are just as prepared, if not more so, than any of the graduates from those universities to join the modern corporate workforce. This diploma you are about to receive sets a great deal. No, that's good, give yourself an applause. This diploma you're about to receive says a great deal about who you are, and you should be proud to receive it because you've earned it. So congratulations once again on this great accomplishment. My first thought when asked by Dean Ramesh to deliver the commencement speech today was to come up with a formula, a pseudocode, if you will, based on famous examples of commencement speeches throughout history. Okay, that's not true. My first thought was, why on earth are you asking me to give the commencement speech? And my second thought was to come up with this formula. And I tackled this just as any professionally trained engineer or computer scientist would tackle any complex and daunting challenge. I did a Google search on commencement speeches. <laughs> Luckily for me, we live in the era of YouTube. So getting historical examples of commencement speeches is really no laborious undertaking. And what I found is that there's a wealth of inspiring material to draw upon filled with poignant perspectives on life and existence made by very prominent and influential men and women. Some of the more notable examples you are probably familiar with, Carl Sagan's commencement speech in 1996 entitled The Pale Blue Dot, in which he mused on the insignificance of the Earth in the face of the vast cosmos. Or Steve Jobs' 2005 Stanford speech, which went viral on the internet and in which he gave a very intimate account of how he succeeded both in business and in life. 
And of course, let's not forget Conan O'Brien's rousing 2011 speech to Dartmouth graduates in which he called the school's president Stinky Pete. Okay, so maybe some of the speeches were more poignant than others. And what I came up with after all this exhaustive research is an understanding that every commencement speech basically follows a predictable pattern or an outline that can be generalized into a repeatable formula. I simply had to add some local variables into this formula, and the output is what I am presenting to you right now, and is what I like to call my hello world of commencement speeches. <laughs> For the non-computer geeks in the audience, the hello world program is the first program you write whenever you learn a new programming language. And since this is my first commencement speech, rather than reinvent the wheel, I'm going to do my best to make this speech follow a pattern which is easily recognizable to you. As, and it follows the great commencement speeches of the past. It's pretty straightforward. I think I can summarize just about every commencement speech in five bullet points. In a nutshell, the hello world of college commencement speeches is this. The first bullet, I start by profusely thanking the platform party and profusely congratulating the students. I've already thanked the platform party, but if I said congratulations to you guys lately, congratulations, class of 2012. You guys are great. You're so excited to get your degrees. I could probably stand up here and read the operating manual for a TI-81 graphing calculator and I'd get an applause from you. <laughs> the second bullet in my hello world of stand-up, of commencement speeches is that I'm supposed to get up here and give a miniature stand-up comedy routine intended to get you laughing and cheering prior to the main message. You know, it's true, Conan O'Brien was just one of a dozen professional comedians that gave commencement speeches last year. The third bullet, I'm supposed to roll off a list of aphorisms and platitudes that focus on themes like following your dreams and never give up and don't be afraid of failure, all of which are interspersed with even more jokes designed to keep your attention and make you forget just how hot and sweaty you are. I follow this up with a fourth bullet, a frightfully intimate and touching personal anecdote about my own past experiences and how they led me to some form of ultimate wisdom. And I finish finally with the last bullet, a final thought which serves as a capstone to your many years in college and is intended to resonate in the forefront of your minds for the rest of your natural born lives. Well, at least that's the general idea. Since I'm not a stand-up comedian, I'm going to skip the comedy routine and go right into the wisdom portion, the third bullet point. And this is really the meat of any commencement speech, and I pray I do it justice. So class of 2012, the ultimate wisdom that I have to impart to you is this. Very simply, get wisdom. I'll say it again, get wisdom. The degree you are about to receive is a document that you can carry with you for the rest of your lives, and it declares one irrefutable point about your person. You have knowledge. You've spent four years, basically, give or take, four years acquiring that knowledge, and that knowledge puts you, as many people up here have said, in a very select demographic of about 7% of the world's population with a college degree. But this knowledge and this degree say absolutely nothing about how wise you are. Because wisdom in its purest definition is the proper application of knowledge. The knowledge you've acquired while earning the degree you're about to receive will get you through the door of a good company. And it will set you on your career path, whatever that may be. But it's wisdom that will help you to choose which door you should pass through in the first place. So get wisdom. Seek understanding. What really defines success? Is it how much money you plan to make in your lifetime? Or how far you get up the corporate ladder? You are just starting your career paths now, and there will be course corrections along the way. But nobody should start going down a path unless they know what lies at the end of it, or what the end state even looks like. What lies at the end of your path? Ultimately, knowledge cannot answer these questions. So I say again, get wisdom. Of course, there are a couple of caveats here, one of which is this. I can't give you wisdom. And this isn't just self-deprecation on my part. The truth is, no mortal human being alive can give you wisdom. Because wisdom is an individual acquisition which no one can impart to you unless you are inclined and even capable of receiving it. You must get wisdom, but I cannot convince you of what it is, and I can't show you how to get it. All I can do in the time that we have remaining is hope you'll indulge me as I share with you my journey 
in, and hope that it proves useful to you. So with that, I'll transition into the fourth bullet point, the personal anecdote. My lovely wife, Alina, who is sitting in the audience over there, we just recently celebrated our seven-year wedding anniversary. We met for the very first time, thank you. We met for the very first time seven years and one month ago. Now, you're all scientists and engineers, so I'm sure you can do the math. I knew Alina for one month prior to getting married. In fact, I informed her that she was my wife on the second day of having met her. Now, it was knowledge that led me to believe that she was going to be the woman I would spend the rest of my life with. But it wasn't necessarily a good application of wisdom <laughs> to tell her that on the second day. Most women would have probably applied for a restraining order. <laughs> Luckily for me, she was just as in love as I was, and we've been happily married ever since. I bring this up because it was my wife who introduced me to wisdom. Before having met Alina, I had plenty of knowledge, but like most young men, I was never able to properly or consistently apply it. In all honesty, my lack of wisdom led me to the point where I had made some pretty significant mistakes in my life, and I was in a very humble and low state. I had recently finished my enlistment with the United States Air Force, and I had nowhere else to go except back home. I was without a career, without any direction in my life, and completely and utterly without purpose. And it was precisely at that moment that I met this beautiful, fiery, curly-haired Romanian woman, and she opened up a Bible and she started reading to me from the scriptures. She told me that I was a sinner, that I was not in the right before a holy God, that I had in my addiction to sin and self-worship turned away from God, and I was going to be judged, I was going to hell, and that only through the atoning sacrifice of Jesus Christ, through his death on the cross, could I find forgiveness and eternal life. And did I mention that this was on our very first date? I had never heard anything like that before. And in fact, it kind of made me uncomfortable, and even offended me a little bit, even though at the time I could not say why. But discomfort should never discourage you from exploration or from growth. And being challenged should never cause you to flee or become offended and respond with hostility, which basically amounts to the same thing. So I listened to her wisdom and considered it. Truly, it was her boldness and her conviction that awakened me. I had never met anyone who held such passionate beliefs in the face of such opposition. And I realized then that I had never known boldness. I had never felt deep conviction and that without the strong impetus of an objective purpose, it was no wonder that I had never rightly applied my knowledge. Without knowing the end of the path, it was no wonder I had never moved forward. So this was my personal journey to finding wisdom, and it started with defining the journey. It should go without saying that my wife's faith became my faith, and once I had found a purpose for my life, everything else fell into place. Soon after that, I came to CSUN and received a computer science degree, and I've been blessed ever since with incredible opportunities like this one to be able to speak here to you today. It's my guess that you've never been asked to write a computer program without knowing beforehand the desired output, nor to survey an undefined plot of land, or set up a total station without finding a definitive landmark to gain your bearings. You don't design a mechanical component without understanding how it's going to interact with the rest of the machine. In the same way, when you understand your purpose in life, your place in the universal order, you will truly make the most of the education you've earned and paid dearly for today. So get wisdom and seek understanding. I want to close with a quote from one of the greatest engineers in the history of mankind, a Hebrew king by the name of Solomon. In the ancient world, monarchs, queens, emperors, and potentates would travel for thousands of miles to see his incredible architectural marvels and listen to his unsurpassed wisdom. When these noble and prestigious visitors would call upon Solomon to seek his instruction, this is what he would tell them. Acquire wisdom. Acquire understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her, and she will guard you. Love her, and she will watch over you. The beginning of wisdom is this, acquire wisdom, and with all your acquiring, get understanding. Prize her and she will exalt you. She will honor you if you embrace her. She will place on your head a garland of grace. She will present you with a crown of beauty. Hear and accept my sayings, and the years of your life will be many. 
I have directed you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in upright paths. When you walk, your steps will not be impeded, and if you run, you will not stumble. Take hold of wisdom. Do not let it go. Guard her, for she is your life. Thank you guys very much for hearing this. Thank you so much, and congratulations once again. Thank you very much, uh, Nicholas, for those very inspiring remarks. As a token of appreciation for your speech today, we'd like to present you with a small gift basket. So if you'd step up to the podium, please. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I'll now call upon our Vice Provost, Dr. Cynthia Ravich, to present the candidates for the Master of Science degrees. Dr. Ravich. Will all candidates for the Master of Science degrees please rise? Interim President Helen Brand, I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the Master of Science degree. These candidates have completed the requirements for the master's degree as prescribed by the state of California and the trustees of the California State University, and they have been recommended by the faculty of California State University, Northridge. Please continue standing as Interim President Helen Brand confers the master's degree upon you. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of California State University, Northridge, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Science with all the rights, honors, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Please be seated. The completion of a degree program is a significant achievement that we are very proud of, and we want to share this experience with you. So please follow the marshals and listen to the directions as you come up to the stage to be greeted. Thank you, President Helen Brand. Dr. Watkins, Dr. Rawich, the department chairs, and I would now like to offer our personal congratulations to the recipients of the Master of Science degree. <laughs> Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree please rise and please follow the directions of the marshals and come forward with your name cards. As you return to your seats, you'll receive a special token of our appreciation. Once you return to your seat, please remain there until the conclusion of the ceremony. Candidates from computer science, from mechanical engineering, manufacturing systems engineering and management should come forward to the ramp on your left when directed by the marshals. and candidates from electrical computer engineering and uh, the civil engineering and applied mechanics department should come forward from the ramp on the right. Thank you. Hero Shaw. Mani Haravi. Raghu Virajiv Havan. Stamir Gugaminov Belchev. Alok Ganeshad Dishpande. Jorge Orancha. Santia Jawagil. Edgar Damian Oshoa. Dagadita Kamatam. Nicholas Sharif Tarani. Bala Supra Manayam Kilapudi. Fiksha Prabhafif. Sputhi Suresh. Imansho Sharma. Vikas Udashakar. Ankit Pandi. Katik Kama Jugada. Veronica Movangampur. Shashank H. 
Meta. Philip Michael Malinowski. Sankit Prakash Joshi. Sarman Shabazian. Kapil Jadhav. John Ray Zome Milano. Pradeep Kumar Ravan Dirna. Menwa Setrak Vartanis. Lakshmi Haritha Kalahashti. Mohammed Mustafa Agabali. Yeshwar Tayi. Human Fatinajad. Hogshot Shanibahi Patel. Ali Eslam Bolchi. Rakubnan Dun Sharidha. Gagit Kashishi. Bhavneet Kaur. Amy Christine Cardona. Anuja Yantin Nanavati. Christine Marie Medina. Maninder Singh. Joshua Baltax. Aditya Gandhi. Barry Orr. Tejas Akshubai Ravil. Krupal Gandhi. Nadish Virinda Shah. Ani Shirazaya. Malav Shah. Matthew Aaron Chung. Harshit Jarawala. Melvinder Gill. Faye Young. Dante Abraham Munoz Castaneda. Neil Fernandez. Jonathan Law. Jack Sun. Union Lee. Garunath Dolan. Dan Zui. Sasika Mandi. Mark Miklich. Sarath Kumar Kuramarti. Jintawat Nispan. Shahar Sadaji. Nathan Scott Croner. Kobe James Budemeyer. Sean Paul Kemp. Avitas Petroshan. Chris Banks. <laughs> Rolando Douglas. Catherine Safarian. David Allen Krieger. Leonid Bazilian. Jorge Bermudez. Rana Mohammed Aguazi. Grady Ward Manley III. Aljohera Youssef Alshobeli. Juanis <laughs> Salim Mohammed. Fahad Ahmed Azulaim. <laughs> Banashe Tarachi. Khalid Almeddel. Key Antonia. Antonio. Faisal Abdulaziz Amasanid. Ray. <laughs> Mohammed Abdullah Arias. Arnufo Bareda. Abdulaziz Zayad Aljumaya. Karen Carrasco Mendez. Abdullah Almansur. Orha Mirakanian. Faisal Bakur. Levon Aloyan. Puja Mandrekar. Piranva Mitrovanovich. Tebi Alamu. Don Emmanuel A. Aquino. Mabel Vasquez. Nadi Saeed. Aloisa Gisela Sierra Da. Mohammed Askarian Namaji. Andrew Boker. Milad Askarian Namaji. 
Nancy Dewey. Raymond Krikorian. Tu Din. R.B. Kirapetian. Manuk Poor. Megan Emily Little. Artin Zerukian. Sandeep Upal. Sri Harsha Bolu. Roger Felipe. Vache Ananian. Amanda Dasmaria de Souza. Christopher Lee Norman. Shraddha Dabadi. Hani Faruzani. Dira. Omer Hadacha. Prabhakar. <laughs> Sorry. Rong Luang. Raymond Ashabalov. Sergio Tartesa. Uh, Shane Witt Noprun. Tache Songewitu. Tatsaporn Patanu Yamchan. Alexi Tronkin. Alejandro Salazar. Samir Bupendra Shah. Saran Kumar Pabalu. Sakrishna Kamalamudu. Maziar Kosrafi. Maziar Aram. Mohammed Reza Bulliardi. Mondana Lofzazar. Michael Abrud. Ardavan Jahed Motlag. Anahita Kadim. Shima Sedegat. David Saluki. Ravma Tagyani. Aliresa Badiran Tabag. Amin Shakir. Perus Amuyan. Musab Faisal Jamjun. Kathleen Yanakis. Gurpreet Singh. Andres Ricardo Mata. Matab Rizali. Jadartha Shrikani Modi. Kamal Nipichard Sen. Shayan Habibi. Anna Zolotareva. Juan Wei. Amir Latifian. Sayyad Abdurrahman Samra. Abdul Mohsen Ahmed. Abdul Aziz Abala. Abdul Rahman Saleh Abaradi. Sa Wei Zan. Hangui Jan. Ron Su. Narbe Hakopian. Yay.
We will now present the candidates for the baccalaureate degree. Will all the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree please rise? <laughs> Interim President Helen Brand, I have the honor of presenting to you the undergraduate class of 2012 from the College of Engineering and Computer Science. These candidates have completed their requirements for the degree and they've been recommended for the degrees by the faculty of California State University, Northridge. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of California State University, Northridge, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science with all the rights, honors, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations, and please be seated. Dr. Watkins, the department chairs, and I would now like to offer our congratulations to the recipients of the Bachelor of Science degree. We invite the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree to come forward to the stage. Please follow the directions of the marshals and come forward with your name cards. As you return to your seats, once again, you'll receive a special token of our appreciation. Once you return to your seat, we please ask that you remain seated until the conclusion of the ceremony. Candidates from Computer Science, Mechanical Engineering, and Manufacturing Systems Engineering and Management should come forward to the ramp on the left, and candidates from Electrical and Computer Engineering and Civil Engineering and Applied Mechanics should come forward to the ramp on your right when directed by the marshals. Presenting the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computer Information Technology. Please have your name cards ready and proceed across the stage as your name is read. Presenting the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering and the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. Harlan Guzman Cruz. Jacob Stephen Aldrich. Hunkuo Nguyen. Robert Michael Hanna. Victor Perez. Christian Aceves. Matthew Jerome Alcazar. Carolina Chica. Woo! Max Irvin Martin. Woo! Swapna Power. Yeah! Jeremy Sardoma. Rodney Yehu Chong. David Matthew Pabers. Benjamin H. Mashian. Alexander Rosenman. Rafi Dersarkissian. Bradley J. Yu. Brian M. Davis. David Jeffrey Bratz. Virgil R. Chua. Alexander Philip Kozell. Mickey. Bikoko Sami. Jeffrey William Henley. Emmanuel Young Ingong. Mark Adrian Castro. Vishril Gandhi. Peter Falanetto. Andy Luan Lee. Ian Augustus Maxon. Koi Long Tron. Onemisi Obaro. Eduardo Alberto. Timothy Reese. Stephen Kevin McCord. Brian Kikua Pang. Jose Alejandro Rios. Jonathan T. Nguyen. Sergio Dominguez. Alex Bastush Gabrielan. Edgar Silas. Arsene Papisian. Christian D. Gill. Arthur Grootman. Alexander Mark Mumal. Jane Marie Espana. Peapot Jetawatana. Kevin J. Moore. <laughs> Scott Salazar Sequoias. Jagdeep Singh. 
Oren Kitts. Gungbang Lee. Pavel Torreya Villegas. Christopher Mitchell Eng. Jessica Aguirre. Juan Carlos Castro. Bridget Stephanie Marinos. And now for the candidates for mechanical engineering. Roberto Flores. Edwin J. Perez. Oh. Oh. Saliba Casis. Hanna Katija Sarania. Harut Markarian. <laughs> David Song. Demeter Vasilev. Tuan Hong. Mark Cruz Nega. Ernesto N. Marmol. Armando Gonzalez. Lee Sean. Maria the Genius Segura. Yan Jin. Asad Khan Yusufzai. Sing Su. Brian Daniel Benton. Vikasha of R. Shamagif. Kevin Allen Thompson. Darren King Hoon. Andrea Marie Agudello. Kevin Casabar Aquino. Raymond Sorlozano. Brandon Richard Kahn. Alexander Josiah Koretsky. Timothy C. Marquez. Singhong Andrew Lee. John C. Baldwin. Savani Avanesian. Sultan Akibali. Pirak Yogesh Diwan. <coughs> ya Lee. Michael Stoudenmeyer. Robert William Dolan III. Teresa Bustamante. Sevag Matovosian. Akim Bakhmed. Abdullah M. Asage. Boyd Shanguchai. These recipients of the Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Devin G. Higgins, Nadine Menhuha, Luis Javier Rincon, Morris De La Roca, Melissa Doris Shabatsky Martinez, Ulysses Marquez, Anna Angelica Avalar. Edward Robles. Joey Raymond Mangasser. Dihan Perez. Miguel Enriquez Benitez. Miguel Hernandez Jr. Alexandro Arneles. Yudesh Gankiwala. Salvador Ramirez. Karam Kaud. Jay Yon. Pranith Sirachi. Edwin Horacio Silva. Andres Cornell Chavez. Calvin Patrick King. Ivan Alvarez. Guillermo Enriquez Ramirez. Mustafis Usi. Diego Vidal. Ben Habitat. Dora Figueroa. Joel Canizales. Kavian Rafahi. Alexander Natescu. Jorge Guerrero. Sean Magnesian. Andrew Charles Norton. Christopher Quevedo. Robert Bagmagarian. <laughs> Eric Ignacio Mejia. Hagop Jack Hajian. Anthony Mark Makar. Renato Roxas Christy Jr. Mike Brandt. Krikor Manakian. 
Nan Tran. Michael Nassif Rizik. Toe Surivay. Mark Thomas McCulloch. Oleg Shelligan. Tyler Chandler. Hassan Kaja. Luke Ryan Tarr. Abdurrahman Araba. Per Bernard Vett. Mohammed Mosin. Hoda Janadari. Jasim Arashad. Amir Gohandani. Essa Hamoud Alessa. Shayan Yusefian. Andres Resindis. Martin J. Reyes. Joseph Luis Calderon. Gerson Segovia. Curtis James Pedersen. Megan Elizabeth Zano. Jonathan Hopwood. Jimmy Pineda. Jazz Singh Sembe. Henry Adrino. David Andrew Pavel. Richard Allen Seraglio II. Josh Garcia. Quo Singh Ma. Tigran Galestian. Jose Oropesa. Hitesh Dagabadi. Fahad Naji. Maida Musavian. Donald Clyde Landis III. Don Keith Heterachi. Admaja Indrasingh. Sam Divdad. Edgar Oswaldo Bedoya. Kevin Yolo Kwak. Erwin Rene Rodriguez Jr. Hoan Chang. Matthew James Cook. Nicholas Blake Oliver. Francis John Roos III. Jeffrey Robert Megan. Colleen Rose McGinnery. Zori Grigoyan. Preston Lee Jensen. Sean Martin Mishloff. Michael Medina. Kevin W. Diab. Felix Kutaris. Dustin Henry Heister. Emmanuel Bonyadi. Luke Zhao. Now for that moment in the ceremony. Will all recipients for the Bachelor of Science degree please rise. The placement of the tassel on the mortarboard is an established part of the academic tradition. The student who has not yet earned a degree wears the tassel on the right side. When the degree is conferred, the scholar moves the tassel to the left side and joins a select company of highly educated men and women. Will all the recipients of the baccalaureate degree please move your tassel to the left?
Congratulations. Please be seated. Today's graduation marks your entry into the Alumni Association. So here this afternoon to welcome you into the Cal State Northridge Alumni Association is our alumnus, Kunal Chitre, or Casey as I know him. Casey is a dual master's degree graduate from CSUN, having earned his master's degree in electrical engineering and engineering management, respectively. He now works for Digital Energy, and he's especially interested in industrial design and has been working with the college to develop the project website for our AIM Squared program under the recent United States of, uh, Department of Education grant. Without further ado, let me introduce to you Mr. Kunal Chatray. Kunal. Thank you, Dean Ramesh. On behalf of over 200,000 alumni and under the authority of the Board of Directors of the Cal State Northridge Alumni Association, I'm pleased to formally welcome you as alumni of our great university. This is your day. You have worked long and hard to reach this moment. We are honored to join with you, your family, and friends to celebrate the joy of your achievement. The word commencement is defined as the time of a beginning. In that context, this ceremony marks the beginning of a new and enduring relationship between you and Cal State Northridge. With this, it is my pleasure to inform you that you may add the title of alumnus or alumna to your name as you can now become proud members of the Cal State Northridge Alumni Association. Congratulations. Thank you, Kunal. Graduates, you have just joined the distinguished group of alumni of the College of Engineering and Computer Science at California State University, Northridge. We're really proud of your achievements, the recognition that you brought. Uh, your education positions you to uniquely lead the way and address the emerging challenges that we face in the world today. As graduates from this college, you will design, solve, arrange, model, build and test for the real beneficiaries, which is the world and everything in the world. Indeed, as the National Academies of Engineering noted, no profession unleashes the spirit of innovation like ours. Few have such a direct and positive impact on people's everyday lives. We are counting on engineers and their imaginations to help us meet the needs of the 21st century. Our message to you today is very simple. Start by doing what is possible what is necessary, excuse me, then do what is possible, and soon you'll find yourself doing the impossible. Be bold, be brave, and don't be afraid to dream. And remember, the best way to predict the future is to create it. Congratulations. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to recognize the parents, grandparents, spouses, children, families, and friends of the graduates. You have supported your graduates financially and emotionally throughout their college careers. Please join me in expressing our appreciation for this wonderful group. Thank you. Also this time, I'd like to thank our University Jazz A Band under the direction of Professor Matt Harris and our singer Amina Kawaja for the talent they've brought to our celebration. I would also like to thank all members of the campus community, including the Commencement and Honors Convocation Committee, department, faculty, staff, and students who worked very hard for the last year to make today's ceremony a great success. Would you please join me in expressing your appreciation for the wonderful work that this team has done. Before we officially close the ceremony, I ask that all students rise for our university alma mater, Hail to the Matadors, under the musical direction of Professor Matt Harris, the Jazz A Band, and performed by Ms. Amina Kawaja. After the alma mater is concluded, Please remain by your seats until the platform party and faculty have recessed. We ask that all parents and guests 
please remain seated until the end of the recessional. Immediately following the ceremony, the College of Engineering and Computer Science will be hosting a reception for our graduates and their guests in the Cypress Hall courtyard, which is directly south of our commencement ceremonies. And we request that all of you join us. So without further ado, Ms. Amina Khwaja. <laughs> 